people, I am back, and today we are going to be looking at all of my isopods. So, without further ado, let's do it. Here we have dairy cow isopods. These are one of my favorite isopods in the entire world. I love them very much, and they're very fat. They're actually really fast, and they're cute, and they look like cows, and that's mainly probably why. They're cute, they're fast, they look like cows, and they like potato. There's currently a potato plant growing out of the side of this potato. And then we got sweet potato. Don't worry, that looks like some small animal just bit out of there. I think it just broke off. Yeah, we got a pretty big boy down here. I'll try getting him. Yeah, I don't want to get him out. He doesn't want to come out, actually. And here we just got some sphagnum moss. Those were dairy cow isopods. Oh, most isopods are pretty cheap. And most isopods are pretty cheap. Not all of them are, though. Because, like, the rubber ducky isopods, those are super expensive. You can get, like, 10 of them for 150 bucks. It's crazy. I don't know why they're so expensive. I mean, they're rare. These are powder orange isopods. They are not doing too good. The colony was pretty big before, and then they kind of like just, like, I think it was like a too big container for all of these guys. So I had to, I was just gonna see what would happen if I kept them in here for a little bit longer. And they're just slowly decreasing. I mean, they're not decreasing, but they just aren't, they weren't doing too good. I might move them into a smaller um, container, but I'll show you guys if I do that. And here we just got some snake shed. Isopods love snake shed a whole lot. They won't eat the belly scales. So these are like mostly belly scales and dirt. And I will be selling some isopods locally, but in my area. So you might see some of my, you might be, see someone selling isopods that could be me. It also might not be. All right, these are one of my favorites. This is probably my favorite in my collection. This is calico isopods here and i have a bunch of these guys these guys are doing great i have some babies i'll try to find one that has eggs oh yeah here can you see that i'm being super gentle but there you might not be able to see it but those guys right there that little yellow sack under them that means those are eggs, which is pretty cool because I'm going to have a bunch of these guys. These are probably going to be the f first ones I'm going to sell. Yeah, we got some more sphagnum moss in here. And look at him. Oh, why is the camera like that? Eh. Eh. Oh, there we go. Look at this little dude. He is pretty cute, isn't he? Why would you just wake up and you find one of those on your face? I'd be scared and pretty much just scared. Yep, and we got some more potato plants in here. You see this? This is actually, why does the camera keep doing that? This right here, this, this thing, that's a potato and that's like a, is that a root? I think that's a root growing out. Oh, I know. That used to be up here like this. <laughs> it's crazy how, like, these potatoes, like, look, look at this. If I pull on it slightly, look, the ground around it from, like, the roots. Oh, okay. And then here we got another one right here. Crazy. Oh. Oh, wow. Look at that. So this just looks... Like a normal old potato, right? You flip it over, it's like hollow. And there is an isopod in there. 
Come on. Focus. There is an isopod in there. That is weird. You guys might not be able to hear it, but there is, like, kind of sound, it, I mean, it sounds hollow because it is hollow. All right, let's move on to the next isopods. Oh, so the next one I'm moving on to, there are some isopods inside of the container, but there are not many. This is mostly my millipedes container. Sometimes he's out, sometimes he's not. It is a millipede. It is an ivory millipede and his name is Bob. He's about one, probably one and a half years old. He's currently not out right now. Let's see, there's a dairy cow under there. And get some more in here and then he is usually hiding. He's usually burrowing tunnels like that one there and like these ones all around the edges. I do have some springtails in here. You might not be able to see them. Oh, look who I just found right here. Do you see that? Can you see that? What do you think that is? Of course, it's Bob. You want to say hi to the viewers? Come on. Being obviously super gentle. And that is my ivory millipede, Bob. He, he has a super big personality. He poops when he's scared. Like, look at that. He just pooped that. Right here. Just pooped that. You see that orange dot? That is probably from Sweet Potato. Oh, he's pooping more. Look at that. Crazy, Bob. Those orange dots right there. See that? He just pooped that out. This is Cuttlefish Bone. He... Um, Bob just likes to, they chew on it, and he also, the isopods also chew on it. It, it gives him like a harder shell and a healthy shell. Yes. So that was them. That was Bob and his tank mates. And, voila. Hope you like my video. Bye.